Gilbert, Sullivan, prepare the obstacle course. Um, sir, are you certain you wouldn't rather have a nice snack? Some crackers, a, a bit of brie? Crackers, brie? Gilbert, we're here to stretch our legs, to navigate the hazards of the wild. Adventure now, nibbles later. Yes, sir. Uh, it's, it's just the um, you, you, you see, listen, I promise. We won't go anywhere near the vases this time. I should hope not, sir. Come on, chaps. Time's wasting. Chop, chop. Yes, sir. Very good, sir. Now, if we're all ready, off we go. Excellent job, sir. I think you've bested your previous record. Thank you, Gilbert. I impressed myself as well. So, what's next? Time to work on your fencing skills, sir. Ah, yes. Some good old-fashioned swordplay. Minus the sword, of course. And, sir, if you please, not so hot this time. Form. Yes, yes, it was most excellent. Uh, shall we move on? <clears throat> Do something a little less painful. Wonderful suggestion. Let us continue.
Not again. What was that? Sounds like a noise, sir. In the kitchen? Yes, a noise in the kitchen. Very helpful. But what's making the noise? Perhaps an intruder. Yes, an intruder. Perhaps we should investigate. Sir? Investigate? Yes, investigate. <coughs> to the kitchen. Locked. Right then. We'll have to find another way in. Follow me, lads. Yes, sir. Right behind you, sir. Two lads, seeds the name, and who are you? Appalled. Cheers, Paul. <gasps> Would you look at this place then? Oh, I could get used to this. Excuse me, I don't mean to be rude, but you're a sewer rat, aren't you? Nothing rude in calling them like you see them, mate. I'm as proud of my heritage as the next rat. Ghastly. Charing Cross, actually. Well, though, I think I had a great aunt from Ghastly, though. All right, then. So we're going to bloke find a telly around here. The game's just a few days off. Me and you are going to have a great time watching that. Yes. Well, Sid, I expect you've had quite a trip, what with these sewer pipes and the garbage geyser and whatnot. Wouldn't you like a nice soak in the, um, hot tub first? Hot tub? Now you're talking, mate. Lead the way. Oh, this is right smashing of you, mate. You're a real gent, you are. That really does look inviting. Yes, the water's perfect. Nothing like a nice dip after a hard day. Now you just hop on in and I'll press this lever and get the bubbles going. Now hold on a sec. I know I sort of barged in and I hope we didn't get off on the wrong foot, mate. Oh, not at all, not at all. In you go. <laughs> oh, you're one of the good ones. See you around, friend. <laughs> oh, you plonker. I know a toilet when I see one. 
you were going to flush me down the loo. No, it's a hot tub, honestly. Well then, I guess you won't mind if I get the bubbles going, will ya? No, no, have mercy, I can't swim. <laughs> bon voyage, mate. You might want to hold your nose. Gilbert, Sullivan, help! <laughs> If I might be so bold, now that would look lovely on you, my dear. You think so? Absolutely. I don't know. Well, are you sure it's genuine? Of course it's real love. That there was one of the Queen's favourite pieces. Wore it everywhere she did before hard times it. She was absolutely devastated when she had to pawn it. Really? Right then, I'll take it. My dear lady, you have made an excellent decision. Do come again, love. My, my, my! Aren't we a fancy gent? Oh, yeah. It's not often we get you society types in here. Uh, uh, might you be a bit of an adventurer? Oh, yeah, you look like you are. <laughs> of course you are. I really could use some help out of a pickle. Mm, uh, see, I, I, I got this consignment here from a well-heeled gent. Oh, he's much like yourself. He's requesting a collection of rare, exotic, hard-to-find, extraordinary flies. Oh, now, the danger is great. Oh, yeah. But I'm sure oh, it's nothing to a strapping young lad such as yourself. Great. I'm glad you're on board. St. James, how did you ever get yourself into this predicament? Uh, it just goes to show you, Mum is always right. Don't talk to strangers. Well, I guess it's a little late for that. Off I go. Hopefully not to my doom.
know that I am craving rodent today, I think so. to drop in unannounced.
You know that I am craving rodent today, I think so. Surely you wouldn't have... <laughs> I mean, it's fantastic to see you! <laughs> Let me take those off your hands. Now, my client has been waiting a very long time for these horses to do this. <laughs> oh, I'll be swimming in quick. Oh, 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 never mind that, yeah. <clears throat> yes, well, ran into one or two small snags along the way. You've earned your cut. Yes, you have. Oh, look, look, here you go. Don't you go spending it all in one place. <laughs> oh, and I've heard you're looking for a way to get yourself back up top. Now, I know the captain of the Jammy Dodger is always looking for work. Oh, yeah, yeah. Now, you can find the Jammy.
Right, Rita, get a hold of yourself. Nothing to this. You've been in worse situations before. Besides, it's worth the risk, isn't it? I mean, with that ruby, I can get the fuel and supplies I need for my holiday to tour the trains of Europe. And it's not like that bloated toad found it in the first place. Me dad found it and gave it to me. A slimy bugger can find himself another gem to fit in this little collection. Sure, it was in the Queen's crown, but it's not likely she'll be dropping by to pick it up any time soon. All right then, this is it. In and out. Simple as that. Eat flashlight! This job ain't worth it. Nobody cares. is a bit extreme.
shall be the dawning of the age of Amphibium. Shall be the dawning of the age of Amphibium. Prince Edward and Can. Prince Edward and Can. Well, let him out. Prince Edward oh. and Can. Oh. Uh, let him out. Bad turn. That's the Queen Shepherd's pipe. Right. Now, all I need is a way out after I get the thing. That will do nicely. I'll just bungee up there and I'm home free.
Now then, that wasn't so bad, and well worth the trouble, I'd say. Jammy old girl, with that little bauble, I'll be able to outfit you with all the latest kit, and buy more than enough petrol to get us anywhere we want to go. All I need to do is fence this ruby, and then next stop, the famous drains of Europe. Hello? Um, ahoy? Permission to come aboard? Anyone home? No! Look out! Ah! Ah! You clumsy, half-witted trespasser! Right, well, the trespassing bit's accurate, I suppose. But I'm not half-witted, and certainly not clumsy. A bit accident-prone, perhaps? What are you doing on my boat? Yes, well... I was told you might be able to give me a ride home. I'm in a bit of a jam. So am I! Now get off my boat! I'm not running a taxi service! Perhaps we should start over. My name is Roderick St. James. Of the Kensington St. James's? Oh! Well, why didn't you say so? Get lost? Sir! Hey, shh! Shut it! I think I heard something. Stay down and keep quiet. Why? Who are you hiding from? There are some rather nasty rats after me. Now stay quiet. Fine. I'll just hide over here then. Stealth is my speciality. You know, Spike, I think I hear something too. Over there! You idiot! Sorry, sorry! Don't let her get away! It's not my birthday. It's only Tuesday. Now, about that ride.
doesn't this collection of rubbish and rust go any faster? Oi! You want to watch your mouth, or you'll find yourself swimming home. Now hang on, there might be a few bumps. was cutting it a bit close, don't you think? Nothing to it. Wasn't worried a bit. Piece of cake. Yes, well, I think perhaps we've had enough cake for one day. You should relax, you know. You'll live longer. Not if I stay on this boat, I won't. What did you say? <laughs> nothing. Nothing at all. Rita, we seem to have given those rats the slip. We make quite a team, you and I. Team? Team? They must have some other meaning for the word team up top. I didn't see you do anything but hold on for your stinking life. Yes, well, I did hold on in the most nautical fashion I could manage. You might not believe this, but uh, this is my, well, my first time at sea. Not big sailors, the St. James's. You don't say. It hardly shows. Really? You think so? No. Look, next time, if you want to help, you can man the crossbow. Doesn't require much nautical skill, and it sure helps keep the vermin off your tail. Oh, always wanted to dabble in archery. Can you give me a few pointers? Nothing to it, really. I'll show you. Quick, 
running. Well, this is going to be no end of fun. How still? This won't look good on me, resume. <laughs> Give up, my dear. Not a man to be. Quit fighting. That might just get on you. Not much. Give up, my dear. This one put good on me, resume. Did you see that? They were coming up fast, but twang, 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 splash one, splash two, and that one that got close, kapow! Did you see it? Did you? Yeah. Good job, Rodent Hood. You managed to waste almost half my ammunition with all the misses. My mum could have taken them out in half the time, and she's a seamstress from Surrey. Look! Look! What? Are you going to cry now? Kensington mice can't take a little constructive criticism. Look out! All right, what are you on about? Oh, look at that. What a mess. Gonna have to dock your pay to fix all this. Dock their pay? <laughs> dock. <laughs> That's rich. You crack me up, Spike. I think the boss will want to see this one. Now, Whitey. We got it, boss. Me and Whitey got the ruby. We got Rita, too. Hello, my dear. We meet again. Hello, short squat and warty. And who's your new boyfriend, the waiter? Waiter? Actually, it's Roderick. Roderick St. James of the Frankly, Kensington... I don't care who you are. Now that I have my ruby, you two are nothing but a nuisance to me. I think it's time we put our guest on ice. Rather literal, isn't he? I think it's time you meet your maker. Your ice maker. Ice maker, that's rich. It makes me laugh every time. Start the machine. Rita, waiter chap, it's been ice knowing you. All right, no need to belabor the pun. Roddy, there's a paper clip in my back pocket. Can you get to it? What? You have some paper that needs clipping? We're about to die. Just get me the paper clip. Got it. Now, I just noticed you've got little hands, Spike. Like little lady hands, they are. Yeah, well, uh, they might be small, but they're lethal weapons, these. Nobody gets past old Spike and his deadly hands. Idiots. Oi, Fatso, I'll be taking this. After them! So, what's our plan? Our plan? My plan is to get out of here. No offence, but you've been nothing but bad luck to me since you set foot on my boat. It's better if we're on our own. Cheers! Better? Better for who? Get you. Wow. 
Get you. Stop running, me feed her.
interesting. Would you take a look at this bloke? <laughs> Thought you could get away, eh? <laughs> Interesting. Would you take a look at this bloke? So what if you're a commoner? Just slow down! Just a little bit! In the clothes, mate. Caught up to you. Now, if you'll just wait. the clothes, mate.
bum over elbow, mate! Right. No help there. Or there. Well, this is it, Roddy old chum. It's either do or die, swim or sink. Most likely the latter. In either case. In we go! Ow! Well, I'll give you this much. You don't give up easy. Uh, oh. And I suppose I'll let you stay on the jammy, now you've dropped in. Ow! Well, don't just lie about. Could at least thank me for the rescue. Yes! All right, thanks. Really? Oh, it's something I shan't soon forget. been foretold that gates shall open and pour a deluge of water upon all road and gown. The great flood is coming. Yeah, I know. Run. How do I make you understand? The flood is coming. Listen to me. It's coming. <laughs> what is? The great flood, of course. Okay? The floodgate won't hold forever, you know. So I should be frightened, should I? Sounds exciting. The great flood is coming! <laughs> Run away! Run as fast as you can! Scamper if you must! Just leave! <laughs> Before the flood, the streets shall see. I don't know. Forty quid seems like an awful lot of money. Value of precious item is in eye of beholder. Maybe, mate. What I'm beholding is a rusty old piece of rubbish. What's gonna cost half a day's pay? As Confucius once say, if merchandise not to customers liking, customers should get out of my shop. Suit yourself, mate. I'll just head on down to the mall then. Oi, mate, at your boat in the harbour? <laughs> I mean, um, <clears throat> is that your sturdy watercraft capable of a rescue mission? The community has great need of a hero, dare I say, a chosen one, who can aid us in this crisis. Our orphanage will be consumed by a rising tide if no hero rises to the occasion. Please. We need your help. I can help you find what you seek. It is in stock, please. Orphans, eh? I was beginning to think that down here, gangster or thug was as close to cute and cuddly as that there was. Nice attitude, that. If we weren't in such a hurry, I'd toss you off the docks. See if you can find a nice cuddle down in the muck. Yes, well, no need to take that sort of tone. Oh, just shut up and shove off. Now, see here. Oh, you mean the boat. <laughs> right then. Oi!
Steady. Just another second. Hoi! Just fire the thing, Roddy! Almost there. Now! Come on, love. Just a little bit more. Oh! I really wish you'd bought me when you do that. But well done, just the same. Seems you've gotten us out of that mess. Don't get too comfortable, love. We're not out of this yet. The water's getting low, and it's going to take everything I've got to get us through this. What do you mean, we? Well, you did the driving, certainly. But I did lend a bit of moral support. Well, at any rate, credit is irrelevant. The mission is a success and we've done our good deed for the day. And me, your lordship. Well, well, well. Great to see you, my elegant friend. Since you made quick work of it last time, and my client was so impressed. He has requested you specifically to recover for him another bunch of flies. Seeing how you was the only gent capable of the job. What do you say, mate? Ah, glad you're so eager. Just return to where you were last time and dig a little deeper. Well, it 
behave me favourite gentleman and hear me mum was saying chivalry is dead. Well, my little niece is all in a flutter about seeing this new movie by these artsy blokes. But unfortunately, some thugs are harassing the ladies. So, get over to the theatre pronto and clear those hooligans out. Yeah, and, and don't worry, man. Socket set always remembers his friends. then. In and out quickly, but perhaps not as abruptly as last time. Prepare to meet your maker! Today I'd never set foot in such a loathsome place. Now here I am again. Oh, Roddy, how do you get into these predicaments? Hello, what's this? Oh, how festive! This almost makes a trip into the sewers worthwhile. Almost. And at least I don't have to worry about being chased by a lot of criminally insane rodents and amphibians in here. You're time to leave. I shall spin webs. No more. Isso é doloroso. I go to the. Sorry, Toto. I shall spin webs. No more, Mamma. You know that I am craving rodent today. I think so. Spin webs, no more, Mama. Look at this place! Do you have any idea how long it would take me to clean up this mess? Um, yes. Well, sorry about that, but you see, they were trying to eat me. No, no, don't worry. It doesn't matter. You see, when my seventh husband, Renaldo... Uh, oh, no, no, that was my, my fifth husband. Uh, oh, Edmundo! Yes, yes, Edmundo! When Edmundo was tragically taken from this world... By me. I was overcome with indigestion. 
<laughs> My children and me, we fall asleep in a banana crate and we end up here, in this horrible cesspool. I did my best to make it colorful, like at home in Brazil. Is it beautiful, no? Yes, it's lovely. I was admiring your decor before I... well... Oh, thank you. I, I, I try to make this place I would be proud to call, how you say, home. A nice place where my children can bring their friends. A place for them to play, to devour their dinners in peace. The family that devours pray together stays together, no? Well, as much as I'd like to stay and help, I really must be going now. <laughs> no, no, no. You must stay for a while. Come into my parlor, as they say. Never been much for parlors, actually. Always on the go, you know, keeps me fit. That is the trouble with the people of this country. They don't know how to party. I suppose then that there's nothing left but to clean up this mess before my children come home and make another mess of their own. Of course, the quick snack first always makes the housework more fun. Don't you think? Well, yes, a spot of lunch does sound nice. What are we having? Uh. Making me very angry now. Rato voce está fazendo mi irritado. You have no choice, little furry creature. You have no choice, little furry creature. Be a good hostess. Stop fighting me and let me have you for lunch! Be a good hostess. Stop fighting me and let me have you for lunch!
Terrific! I knew I could count on such a fine night as yourself. You're a credit to your breeding and my pockets. <laughs> well, here's your cup, my friend. I never was one for small talk. Well, if it ain't me favourite gentleman, and hear me mum was saying chivalry is dead. Well, my little niece is all in a flutter about seeing this new movie by these artsy blokes. But unfortunately, some thugs are harassing the ladies. So, get over to the theatre pronto and clear those hooligans out. Yeah, and, and don't worry, no, 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 no. Socket Set always remembers his friends. The floodgates will open soon, spilling a watery demise upon us all! Lovely day, isn't it? It's you! I got a little bit of a problem, and you are clearly the man for this job. That monk wannabe, Charlie Wu, has been moving into my business. Now, go to Chinatown for me, mate, and you give him a reason to move his business elsewhere. Now, I know that you would do this out of the kindness of your heart, but if it's all the same, I'd like to drop a few quid on you. I'll be putting my face where your face is, mate.
chosen one. I thank you most humbly. Allow me to share with you this... this ancient Chinese secret. Far away, in the sacred pool of salvage, great wealth may be gained. But beware, for you must first journey through chaos and danger. The brave will gather the riches, and the fearful will gather the tomato sauce. Doom! Doom! <coughs> Sorry about that, mate. <coughs> Gotta be carried away, I did. <laughs> The Honorable Chosen One, I'm glad to see you. My nephew has given his heart to a most sweet and sour young lady. While journeying amongst the clouds, he stepped into much trouble. He now finds himself surrounded by a bunch of hooligans that work for that right thief socket set. <coughs> <coughs> Would you please help me? <laughs> As my nephew means much to me. As Confucius say, duck sauce and mustard sauce do not mix. What's all that commotion about? That would be the football fans. It's always pretty noisy down here in Little Soho, but ever since England made it to the finals, things have got worse. Some of the fans like to come down here and stir things up. I think it might be best if we get out of here as quickly as possible. I heartily agree.
Well, good riddance to that lot. So sorry for the startling. I am, uh, how you say, stealthy. Stealthy? 
That is what I thought. Anyway, you will come quietly, no? No. Ah, the lovely Rita. Charmed to make your acquaintance. I do so love a woman with a fire in her belly. <laughs> what do you want, Le Frog? I am on a mission for my cousin, the Toad. He has sent me to bring you to him. And that is what I am going to do. So, heave it to, or whatever it is you nautical types do, s'il vous plaît. And uh, let us be done with this. There is a dock ahead. We will stop there, yes? Whatever you say. Run, Roddy! Run! You! Take care of the girl. I will find this Roddy person. was a rodent and then your You hit like a small mammal. <laughs> oh, wait. your Brit pop singers and your large Ben clocks, you cannot defeat Le Frog. <laughs> For Kensington! Touché! Ho <laughs> ho! You have made me, how you say, hopping mad! Ah, oh God! You fight like the hamster. On oh guard. Oh 
tiny English with your Britpop singers and your large Ben clocks. You cannot defeat Le Frog. <laughs> And your large Ben clocks, you cannot defeat the frog. <laughs> Your mouse. Doodle pip. What the? All right. What are you on about? Come here, you. Let's have a word. This has not been my day. I wonder if I left the kettle on at home. Oh, the boss don't pay me enough for this! Oi! Let me go, you lab reject! Yes, there's no need to be so rough about this. So, I see you've managed to capture the egregious vermin at last. Ah, uh, no, sir. Uh, boss, just these two. Who's my just vermin? So good of you and your waiter friend to join us again, Rita. The pleasure is not mutual, I assure you. Don't speak too quickly, my dear. You see, you have arrived at a rather auspicious moment. You will be witness to the Amphibian Dawn. The Amphibian Dawn is my master plan to rid the sewers of rodent kind once and for all. In mere minutes, my brilliant plan will come to fruition. Ever since the prince lost me away down the loo so he could spend quality time with that horrible, buried, nasty rodent he got for his birthday, lo, those many years ago, I have drained off this moment. Of course, you couldn't begin to understand the complexities, the intricate planning, the sheer genius that goes into such a grand endeavor. Everything hinges on the finals and that floodgate that looms over Ratropolis. Quite obvious, really. Oh, it is not obvious! Certainly it is. Millions of Londoners will be watching the game, consuming gallons of liquid. And when the game reaches half-time, they'll need to, um, dispose of that liquid. Oh, why? You, 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 he, what? Why? You, he, indeed. At the very moment that nearly every toilet in London is in use, you will open the floodgate. And instead of a great flood destroying the city as that wonky, but admittedly accurate, street profit keeps going on about, the city will be destroyed by a great flush! Stop it! This is my moment! You think you're clever, do you? Well, I'll have the last laugh when every one of you filthy rodents are flushed away! Well, surely we'll be safe up here. Yes, <laughs> you would. Unfortunately, our time together has come to an end. Ah! Um, 
if you said all the rodents was being flushed away and we are rodents, uh, don't that mean... It means... Don't just stand there! Make sure they don't escape! You cannot stop the Amphibian Dawn! I've got your lick! I've got you licked! The Amphibian Dawn! Cheers, mates. Wasn't expecting you lot to drop in. Um, we wish to make sure you don't escape. Make it easy on yourself, Rita. We don't want to hurt you. Well, we do. But, uh, we're kind of knackered right now, to be honest. Uh... Yes, my dear. Let's not fight. There are so many better ways to spend our time together. No thanks. I'll take the fight if it's all the same to you. Well, have it your way, love. You're toast, you are! That the best you've got? Quit running! This won't look good on me, Razor Man. This is gonna hurt. Right, now I'm angry. No one gets away from me! Come on then!
the three de mille. Ladies will mourn my bar singing. The obstacle course at home was never like this. Oh, wonderful. Well, I'm not going in there. Stop right there, you Chrysotidian Cretan! Well then, on second thoughts... The toad! <laughs> Pathetic creatures, your time is now at an end. Well, ready or not, here I go! Oi, Fatso! I think I'm about to ruin your big moment, love. I've got you licked! You cannot stop the Amphibian Dawn! Midday shall be mine! The toad strikes again!
The town strikes again! Your match, Rodent. I've got you licked. yourself into these messes, Rita. I've got you licked! I've got your lip! Well done. Seems like the evil demise of rodent kind has been stopped cold. Ugh. Oh, I think you've spent a bit too much time around our warty friend. Speaking of whom, where has he gone off to? He uh, tried to stop the floodgate closing and got a bit tongue-tied. Well, Rod, I suppose this is it then. You'll be off to Kensington and I'll be off on my holiday. Yes, well, I was thinking about this Drains of Europe trip of yours. You, um, you wouldn't happen to lead a first mate, would you? Rod, say no more. I'd be happy to have you along. If you don't mind taking a risk or two. Risk? What are you talking about? I thought we were leaving all that behind. Anything worth doing is worth taking a risk. <sighs> See ya. Rita! Rita! Oi! Do you want to be my first mate or not? Are you going to stand there gaping or are you coming down? Well, as they say, nothing ventured and all that. Off I go! And a fine landing if I do say so myself. Purpose. I demand an apology. Tell you what, I'll let you be captain every other day. 